chairman of the Blue Ribbon Committee for the money laundering issue. Yeah. Are you close on finding the truth? On what? The truth about the money laundering. Finding the, the truth. What we can say right now are there are levels of credibility. Uh, I, at least you didn't say finding the money. You know. <laughs> uh, levels of credibility. Uh, there are three basic uh, groups, four basic groups there. The RCBC, the bank, the, the manager, si Ms. Digito, Kim Wong, and uh, Phil Rem. And uh, of the four groups, the one that has almost zero, I would say almost zero, close to zero, sige na nga, zero credibility is the field rim. Mm. They keep changing. Every time we have a hearing, they keep changing their story. And um, it's, it's, it's totally unbelievable what they say. What are you really trying to find out in the, in the hearings, in these hearings? Well, uh, at the start, no. One of the yes. One of the one of the goals was, can we pressure the parties, whoever is keeping the money, to return the money? Return the money. Yeah, yeah. And uh, forty-six million dollars, uh, forty-three million dollars has been returned. Thirty-eight million pesos has been returned. Two hundred million pesos has been returned. Uh, another two hundred fifty million pesos is coming. Uh, 170 million, which is frozen with Zoler, can be returned. 1.3 million pesos, which is with Zoler, can be returned. A potential of 48 million, which is with uh, the junket operator that operates within the premises of Midas, can be returned. So, potentially it can be returned. Yes. Yeah, so is that the primary purpose of the hearings? We that would be legislation. That's primary. Second, of course, is to show the nation the need to, to, to include all the, the, the uh, casinos in, in the anti-money in the anti laundering laws. I was the one who was at the helm of passing the anti-money laundering laws uh, in, the, in, in the last uh, amendment. And uh, when, when the casinos were dropped, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Let me say it again, nobody cared. So now, with, with this scandal, with, this, with all this happening, I hope that this has opened the eyes of our countrymen. And next time, people will care. Mm -hmm. And another thing, what is at stake there, man? the reputation the of our country, is the Philippines. Ang Pilipinas ba? Taguan ng pera, ng nakaw. Mapagkakatiwalaan pa ba ang Pilipinas para ipatupad ang batas? Or is the, Pilip is the Philippines a banana republic where you can just throw in, steal money somewhere and throw it into the Philippines and it will disappear? You can launder it. That's the primary issue. So this, these, uh, these, um, these uh, hearings are, are very transparent, very open, and therefore is a good showcase, good process to showcase that that we have the capability and the resolve, more importantly the resolve, to show that we can and will implement our anti-money laundering laws. So the country's credibility. And the country's credibility.